All right, guys. Here's the Toshiba Centerlight C675. Right there. Just power it on. This this computer uh, has a, a boot problem when it's starting Windows. This is Windows fail to start because uh, software or whatever you call that. I don't know. Uh, you can comment down below and tell me what that problem was. Sorry for about that, guys. And here is my review of my. All right, back into my review. But this this computer right here has a problem with yeah with the boot boot up. But the hard drive is working fine. Nothing not nothing is wrong with the hard drive. Nothing's gonna do with the hard drive. But when it says Windows failed to start. Or I think a recent hardware or software change may be the cause, but I don't know what that is. Alright. Just insert your installation disk and restart your computer. Alright. Right here. Now let's take a review. Take a review on the right on the left side. On the left we have a power adapter and the vent. Did some like cleaning on it. Cleaning on the ventilation, so the uh, you got a fan running. Let's see. See that fan spinning? Forgot to uh, find the uh, screw on for the. Uh... Yep. Here's the uh, VGA input, Ethernet, and USBs. Two USBs and as well as your SD card storing all of your like media, video, pictures or whatever, and the uh, microphone and the headphone headset jack. Let's see over there on the right we have nothing on the right. We have we have a uh, DVD CD ROM. Uh, DVD burner or see we write. But the button may no, but the button no longer works. But it works. But the button uh, doesn't seems to be having a hard time. So sometimes you have to press it way harder than that. And we have an SD, not SD. The uh, the uh, security or whatever you call that card slot. All right, and over there on the and, and over and over there on the front, we have keyboard. It's not that backlit, and the mouse pad is pretty cool. So I will show you the uh, file screen. But on this one, in order to do it, you have to press the uh, F2 to enter your BIOS. There we go. This, this, this is what the BIOS screen looks like. Like, you can, like, 
change your time and your date, all kinds of cool stuff. You can like uh, uh, make it go on automatically, like. Yeah, you can like change change your like boot boot list in order like like if you're trying to get like boot from the CD you can like boot from the uh, CD or from the USB and, uh, let's see exit Oh, pressed the wrong button. Let me go ahead and uh, reset BIOS. We have to press the F2 key and enter. There we go. F9, F10 for saving. And I will show you the uh, boot menu right there. Let's see. Let's see. Usually you have to press F12. There we go. F12. There we go. Let's see your device. You can like boot from the uh, uh, hard drive or SSD, USB, uh, CD, DVD, burner drive, or a wireless Wi Fi connection. But you can change your like boot order and BIOS but you can't change your like boot order in this section but in order to change it you have to enter BIOS then go to uh, boot see pressing F5 and F6 change your like boot order and all kind of stuff but for me I'm just gonna keep it to where it was well set up defaults exit Bring it home and work on it. Sure, yes, thank you. Alright. Yes. That's it.